So God, what is God from the theosophical perspective? God in the esoteric meaning is the sum total of all the laws and all the energies governed by these laws in the manifested and unmanifested universe. God is impersonal, technically, meaning there's not one being sitting on a throne. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. It's, it's the combined energy of everything in all existence and non-existence. Um, nevertheless, that transcendent God is manifest in every aspect of creation, mm. including ourselves. We are not separate from that creation, from God. Every human being has the potential of the knowledge, the awareness of all in creation that we can think of as meaning God. Think about how in the Bible when Jesus said when he was leaving... He said, if, you know, if you have the belief of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain, you can be as I am and perform miracles as I do if you just had the faith. Yeah. He's, it's, it's secret. You know, we are like him. We are like God. Yeah, that's what, that's what came into my mind when you were reading that, like, be like Christ. Mm-hmm. The masters are God realized, which is a very specific state in that they have brought their consciousness in terms of the divine spark, the absolute, the self, and to complete atonement, or as you could say, at one men, um, with themselves as men on the physical plane. Plane, the personality and divine aspect are uh, totally integrated. God is everything that exists in all space between that which exists between you and me and around us, around everything, all of that is God. God manifests through its creation, which is made of energies at particular vibrational rates. The form depends on the particular frequency of the nucleus and the electrons of these forms. Modern science has been able to break down the cellular structures. This is him speaking in the 70s. Mm-hmm. Uh, break down the cellular structures and show that at the center of every atom is a nucleus with electrons all around it, vibrating at a specific rate, and that every atom in the universe is made in the same way. There is nothing but energy in all of the manifested universe. Yeah. So it's consciousness. <laughs> yeah. You know? It, yeah. It's, it's, it's like the force. That's I I love comparing it to that because it is like a perfect allegory. But yeah, it it's like you know like hardcore scientists will use things like that to refute spirituality. Mm-hmm. But it's like, bro, it's, it's kind of it, bro. <laughs> it's kind of inherently spiritual. Like everything is the same thing. Like everything's vibrating at a frequency. The tiniest atom has a brain, a nucleus. You know, mm-hmm. has it's like as above, so below is yeah. everywhere. This is the definition of as above, so below. It's like I love that. You know, when you when when you understand what that means, it's the microcosm is a reflection of the macrocosm. And you know, what is microcosm? What is macrocosm? Think like this: you're a living human being. You have trillions of little cells on your arm. If you had the ability or the perception to zoom in and watch these cells, let's just say you become a cell and you watch them on their day to day. Those cells have jobs. Yeah. They have a, they have a, so to speak, a thought or a consciousness that says, I gotta, I gotta do some work here. And they, they are have aware. a function. They're aware They're in aware. some way. Yeah. In some way they're aware. Uh-huh. Just like the blade of grass is aware. Or Dude, even, even um, like uh, slime mold, which has no nucleus, has no quote unquote brain or mind, it still can make decisions. And right. It, it can still move and, right. and, you know, they've tested it and proven it. it it's like weird. It's Bro, like, they've, bro- they've proven a single photon of light is aware. Yeah. The it, double slit experiment. Exactly. Like it, when, when the light is aware that you are aware of it. Yeah. It knows you're watching. This it. is proven. Yeah. It, you know it, what I'm it, saying? Scientifically like, proven. And this is, this is what I'm saying. How, why is science so like bent on disproving spirituality? It's the same thing. Yeah. Science is just explaining spirituality. I mean, that's what esotericism truly is in its peak form. When you understand it's like the knowledge that science and spirituality are truly one thing working together to prove that we are eternal beings reincarnating, you know, in, in this consciousness plane or whatever. Yeah. That's, that's one of the material plane, you know, that's what's so dope about theosophy is it's like, why, why we gotta be black or white? Why, why can't we be in the middle? Why, why can't it be all one thing? You know, if you look into quantum physics, it's like magic. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, literally. On it, it's you can't distinguish it from. I mean, bro, magic. all the Marvel movies are literally like based on quantum physics now, and they do magic and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, quantum media. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, quantum physics. It's yeah. like magic. Yeah, it really is spooky action. That's what yeah. Einstein yeah. called. Yeah, it's well, spooky he called action specific, at a distance. You know, quantum physics thing. Yeah.